Hi everyone, it's story time. I'm Kirsten from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Sonoma Valley. And today's story is Miss Spider's Tea Party. David Kirk wrote this story and he also painted all of the illustrations, all by David Kirk. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay a while with me, I'd sit them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no and dashed away. Three fireflies flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear. We'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Four bumblebees buzzed by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there and waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled, her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs, alas, belong to rubber bugs. Some ants strode in, they numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them tea from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider watching from the wall was not aware of them at all. The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company, in no demand, left a cup for every hand. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm in shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please them, but instead... They flew away in mortal dread. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain, no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough and turned to see a small wet moth, a fragile thing so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again. She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. 
They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then, lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently into the air. Well, the moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there's no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Twelve tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place, set by her chair so neatly spun. She munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see. She ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew. Before long, our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their lovely children too. Oh, and that is the end and look at all her friends. Okay guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.